Albany, Georgia's King Randall is getting recognized for being a disruptor in education. That's why he's our revolutionary of the week. I am the master of my fate. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I am the captain of my soul. King Randall's command. His mission is to advance his community and to make men out of boys through his X for Boys school. The us in Let Us Make Man entails and implies to me that I should be assisting God with making men. And this is where the X for Boys comes into play. It is a school that Randall founded at the age of 19, an age where he saw a void after a series of life experiences that inspired him to pay it forward for black Americans. And I took uh, 20 young men to the African American History Museum to see the children asking the questions that they were asking, to see uh, just them not wanting to be in their conditions. Uh, that's where I figured out that I was supposed to be working with the children and trying to train our replacements. I decided to start a summer camp. Um, I had 20 boys uh, with me every day. Um, from eight to five. But I'm trying to teach y'all how to read. It ain't because I'm trying to be annoying or it's because I'm trying to, to hurt y'all or make y'all be bored. It's crap y'all need to know. Y'all can go out here in the world try to get jobs and all that crap and you can't read and ain't enough y'all can be able to do but go to jail. I bought 40 acres of land to be able to teach the boys how to, you know, fend for themselves and, you know, uh, live off the land and grow their own food and things like that. Then I ended up having to buy three small buildings, uh, with one of which I'm in now on the more impoverished side of town. Um, to start our school. They wouldn't let us get one building, so God said, I'm gonna give y'all two times the size of that building. Am I right? Yeah! 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 41,000 square feet. His work doesn't stop there. Inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Randall is just coming off of his I Am A Man March, a two-day event held in Albany, Georgia, which pushes the culture to focus on family, community, and responsibility. March is for unity. We're not asking for anything. I'm simply bringing men here to actually go and get things for ourselves so we don't have to ask anybody for anything. I know um, Dr. King um, wasn't able to help with that march because he was killed. I started that march and just giving a call to action to a lot of men uh, for us to go and take back our communities as black men, you know, go in and, and rebuild our families, go in, you know, help our communities and, and do something. According to the U.S. Department of Education, across the U.S., black students are lacking proficiency in math and reading skills. However, Randall School is breaking barriers in the U.S. education gap, achieving an 86 percent increase in reading comprehension rates and more. I was going to open them a school um, because it was just ridiculous to me how these children are passed through school and they can't read and write. Just under 20% of the kids in general are graduating proficient in math. And then just under 40% of them are proficient in reading. I think that's an extremely huge issue that makes no sense to me. I, I started a book club. We read with them every week uh, for two days. All their grades started to improve, etc. Um, a lot of their behavior started to improve from being around our discipline. With the motto, let us make man, King Randall hopes to open an all-girls school in the future. Boys and girls need to be taught separately. That's why I also, you know, want to find a partner to help start a, a girls version of what we're doing as well, you know, so that way we can maybe almost pair them and, and help them court, etc. you know, and build families. Um, that's, that's something I think is extremely important because families is what's going to really fix our communities. People are always asking me, well, King, how you so young and you can buy schools and do this and do that or whatever like that. I simply decided to study, put some t time into my craft. In the meantime, the completely people-funded, no government-involved X for Boys School is scheduled to open in the fall of 2022 with very ambitious goals. We're not saying we don't need government. If government want to help, cool. You know, if they don't, we still gonna make it happen regardless. Um, but I feel great. Um, it's been a, a great time, you know, just building. The work always gonna speak for itself. Uh, so I'm extremely happy and extremely excited for our school to open in September.